So today we're gonna talk about the viewfinder on the new Polaroid i2 camera. Yesterday I talked about the lens, today the viewfinder. I like the viewfinder in this camera a great deal. A lot of people were disappointed that this camera wasn't an SLR, single lens reflex, much like on the SX70. But I actually am totally fine with that, and I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm also gonna talk about the strengths of this particular type of viewfinder. First off, when I look to the viewfinder, it's nice, it's big, it's bright. It shows me really everything that I need. It's a fairly accurate viewfinder. It has parallax correction built into it. And even with someone like me who wears eyeglasses, I had no problem whatsoever looking through the viewfinder. There were some comments that people talked about how sometimes it would flare out in bright light. I have not experienced that at all. Um, in the viewfinder, you have some really helpful information. You have a center focus spot, autofocus is gonna be reading from when you go to take a picture. And at the bottom of the uh, viewfinder, it has really great information that you're probably familiar with like in a DSLR. It gives you focus confirmation, exposure lock confirmation, gives you your uh, exposure information, f-stop, shutter speed, tells you if you're gonna be maybe a little bit shaky, more on that in a minute. Um, it tells you how much battery power you have left, how many shots you still have left in the camera. So there's lots of good information in the bottom and I find it's bright and easy to view. Um, an advantage to a viewfinder like this, as opposed to an SLR, is you don't have mirror shake. That's one thing, the SX70 has a very big mirror and on slow shutter speeds, under a 15th of a second, it can actually add a little vibration. This is also true on the NANS SL660. When you fire that camera, it sounds like a Pentax 6.7. It's a every single time you do it. This camera is actually very quiet, and because there is no mirror going up and down, I'm able to handhold shots a second, two seconds, three seconds that are incredibly sharp, especially when I compare them to the equivalent shot on an SX70. So I like the fact that this is not an SLR. When you look through an SX70 viewfinder and you're focusing, you're looking through F8. That is the maximum brightness that that lens has. This is also an F8 lens but you're not looking through the lens. You're looking through an optical viewfinder on the side. So it's a much brighter scene that you're looking at and thus easier to compose within. Anybody who's ever focused at SX-70 manually in really low light knows that it can be difficult. This camera, the LiDAR is so good in low light and the viewfinder is so bright, I've had no problem whatsoever. And additionally, if you were to put something like say an ND filter on this lens, you know, you're on bright sunny day and you're wanting to have that real shallow depth of field. And in order to have the shutter speed f-stop relationship work, you've got say a three stop ND. On an SX-70, you'd be looking through those additional three stops. But again, because this is an optical viewfinder, that's not a problem. I also really appreciate that the back of the viewfinder is slightly rubberized, so when I put it up against my glasses, it isn't gonna scratch it. Now here's a tip that I'm gonna give you when working with this camera. I teach a lot of photography, and a lot of the courses that I do are reportage and documentary style work. So. When people are working with cameras like a Leica, let's say a rangefinder, I always recommend keeping both eyes open. And the reason is that when I'm looking through the camera, I can still see content and subject that's happening off to the side. And in a lot of cases, I can anticipate that and have that be part of my framing. So when you look through a camera like this, because the magnification of the viewfinder is such that it's very pleasant to have both eyes open, it isn't too magnified that it makes it feel distorted. When I look through the viewfinder, I keep both eyes open. So I'm fully aware of all the world around the camera that's outside of the four walls of the photograph graphic frame. So it's a great trick. Keep both eyes open. You'll see twice as much. Thank you very much for listening. Now go shoot some film.